Bueno, llegó el momento de presionar el botón amarillo para ver qué es lo que tiene Volvo Construction Equipment acá en Bauma 2025 para mostrarnos. Eh, está el responsable número uno de maquinaria de construcción. Let's afterwards see how many of you that uh, could guess what it is. It's uh, the world first. Uh, it's something that uh, not even we thought was uh, uh, able to do just a couple of years back. And uh, now we will see it. I'm extremely proud of our leadership and I'm extremely proud also uh, of my team that have, that have done this. So, uh, last question. To you for today. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> Increíble. Primer camión articulado. 100% eléctrico. La verdad que qué momento, ¿eh? It's cool, right? Impresionante. Vamos a ver qué, qué dice. Una 30. Ustedes saben, Volvo pionero el que inventó la línea de camiones articulados ya en los años 60 y hoy es el primero en presentar un camión articulado 100% eléctrico vamos a mover un poquito para ver este equipo más, más de cerca Wow, Melkart, thank you very much for uh, doing that for us. Firstly, uh, if anyone has some questions, now's an opportunity to ask. I don't know, Melkart, if you want to say a few words about the A30 electric, and then we can open for some of you to have a few questions. Uh, first, to start with, uh, during the launch of the new generation of motors and uh, during the pre Bama. Uh, the most common question that you have asked, all of you together, the first one was uh, why didn't you launch an electric articulated hauler together with the launch of the new generation? And the second big, uh, question was uh, what will you launch at Bauma? And I think now we have the answer most of that. Great. We have uh, microphones. If there are any questions, try to raise your hands. Okay. And also Roger and Anna, if you And Roger and Anna, if you have questions to them, anything you see, not just the motor. Uh, Anna, we have one here, please, go ahead. Uh, so, is there, are you going to have a, a still diesel version of this one, like you were talking about, with the strategy, you know, make people can get ice or get this? Yeah, so the thing is, we have uh, from A25, the 25 tonner, up to A60, the, 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 the full new range. And then uh, on the electric one, we are now here today showing the A30, and we also have the A40. So you can say the full range of the combustion engine uh, range and two models electric. Ah, Tom, uh, we can have the microphone that you're on the side. Hi, it's, it's huge. <laughs> so, how, how, at least the battery electric, right? So, how long can it actually last for in a charge? What, what kind of battery is going to power a thing like this? So, now we're in a debate between the engineers and me again, right? No, but it's, uh, I think the question is extremely relevant because when you see the, the different applications where we use or where our customers use articulated holders, uh, it will vary. But in, in a normal application, I, I would say that it's like five hours, uh, uh, which is amazing when it comes to the, the heavy conditions you are uh, running in these conditions. How long to charge it? How long to charge it? Uh, between, if you have, I think it's uh, 
Uh, first of all, I think it will be a session later today with all the uh, detail answers on this one. But if you have a high power charge of like 350 kilowatt or something like that, you can charge uh, between 20 and 80 percent, which is the normal window in one hour. So you can so you can do a, a full shift if you if you use the lunch break, then you can do a full shift. In that. Is it a one battery pack, or is there like a swappable situation? It is a, a fixed battery, and it's our our you can say internal battery that we develop together with our partner Samsung. So it's it's not it's not the the swappable. Uh, we have a question here. And I'm I'm a media of, of from China, so uh, what do you think of uh, what's the, what do you think about the development of the moral construction environment, uh, electric products in Chinese market? Yeah, I think uh, we have all seen the, 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 the big drop the last years in, in, the, in the total business in, in China. Everyone is affected, and we know uh, very great good competitors in China as well, by the way. Uh, and that, of course, has put some pressure into the, the, the China construction uh, market. Now we see it, it's coming back, and uh, we have a very strong offer in China, both in our young venture with, with uh, you know, the SDNG brand, and then also the full uh, Volvo offer. So we see a, a very good potential also now during the downturn when it comes to specific uh, heavy part of the, of the market, like forests and mines and these kind of things. So, we are quite hopeful for, for, the, for the Chinese future for all that. Other questions? Thank you. Um, regarding the availability of this model on European market, in which market would you be able to offer it at first? And uh, when would you be able to deliver the first uh, units? Yeah. Thank you. When you want it. <laughs> no, so uh, it's a fair question because this is, uh, uh, this will be, we will start the deliveries 26. Uh, so during next year we will start the deliveries and then we will be a little bit selective because uh, instead of waiting too long because we love this product. And then we will ramp up for all other markets, 27 and 28. But we can have the details exactly what markets, but the, the 26 would be uh, a little bit selective. Yes. Uh, let's see. Are we having other questions here? No, here. Uh, Jeff Yoder's from ENR again. Uh, you mentioned that you know some customers were not adopting as quickly as you'd like electric. I mean, could you just characterize the markets and, you know, I think every manufacturer wants more customers, obviously, but um, could you tell us where adoption is and, you know, where you want it to be? And I think it's uh, one parameter is the customers, but I think this is also what is happening around the world. This is, you know, lower, uh, lowering the emissions from, from states, from uh, companies, etc. But if you take this over a longer time, this will be a bump in the road. Uh, bump in the room, I'm quite sure about that. Uh, but then we, we see clearly that we have so many use cases where it's not about only being CO2 neutral. This is a fantastic business case. So if you do the TCU calculation on, on the wheel or the behind it, we could do it now, now in five minutes, and I can prove uh, to you that you will not buy that diesel version in many, 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 many cases because you will have a payoff within a year or something. Depends on the electricity, etc. So I think it's both the technology, it's also that we need other stakeholders to start to put demand, we need the green electricity, etc. So it's not only about the wear and the machines. But uh, uh, this will, uh, once you are in it, you will not leave it. So this, this will happen because it's, it's, it's much, much better. Good. Um, then, thank you for all your questions. Uh, Melker and Roger and Anna are around if you'd like any individual uh, questions that occur to you. 
myself, Usa, Sandra, Anna, some others from the press team around, we're super happy to answer any of your questions. And of course, all the product experts we have here can give you all the information you need about some of the fantastic things that we've heard about today. So once again, thank you all for coming to Volvo and enjoy your family. Bueno, ese fue el final de la presentación tan esperada de Volvo, que electrifica uno de sus productos emblemáticos, como pueden ver el A30, que no es casualidad, uno de los productos más vendidos, de 30 toneladas, junto con el A25, el A40, 45, A50, 60, 60, tantos productos importantes. Y bueno, acá les voy a dar una primera mirada a este camión A30 100% eléctrico me quedo con algunas reflexiones de los directivos de Volvo donde van a seguir ofreciendo productos a combustión, también están trabajando en lo que es celdas en lo que se refiere a la utilización de hidrógeno y, y hablar la parte eléctrica, ¿no? Eh, esto todavía hay para rato para debatir, pero bueno, las primeras impresiones de este Volvo A30. pueden ver acá también parte del nuevo diseño de, de Volvo, nuevo logo nuevo styling y bueno, ahora vamos a preguntar de qué, de qué se trata nuevo Volvo A30 100% eléctrico vamos a ir cerrando porque ya abrieron las puertas para que todo el mundo viniera pero bueno, alcanzamos a verlo de cerca veremos cómo sigue la cosa bueno amigos, gracias de quedarse hasta acá, estén atentos al canal porque vamos a estar haciendo una nota específica de este equipo y vamos a estar viendo todos los detalles y de qué se trata esta gran novedad de Volvo acá en Bauma 2025.